We are joined in studio this morning by Joel Billing to talk all things Christmas. Joel, good morning. How are you? I'm doing great, Nicole. How are you doing this morning? I'm doing good as well. You're you're okay with the nice temperatures, but not that it's going to melt the snow outside, it sounds like. <laughs> if there's some way of keeping snow on the ground and having plus five, I take it all day. Yeah, absolutely. You like a white Christmas. I, I know many are in agreement with you there. Uh, when it does come to the holiday season, what are some things that you look forward to most? We all have Christmas traditions, but I really think it's about the family. It's not time just spent with the family. The food is a Amazing. I won't lie there. I uh, had my fair share of that. But, uh, you know, two of the Christmas traditions we have, we do a lot of Christmas baking, but we really focus on one. Mm -hmm. uh, we call them ninja breads. Okay. Uh, so people are like, ninja breads doesn't really apply with Christmas. Okay, here's the story. It <laughs> is a gingerbread cookie cut in the shape of a ninja. I mean, how cool is that? I think that makes it way more fun. Ninjas are just much better than teddy bears or snowmen. So... It's ninja breads. It's a gingerbread cookie cut in the form of ninja. So that's one tradition we love. Kids love it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to spread the word uh, and, and get the ninja bread trend going. But yeah. the other thing, we, we've been blessed and lucky enough to have uh, four elves show up at our house December 1st, right down to Christmas Day. And uh, kids are loving that tradition and they are excited and uh, just anticipate almost these elves showing up December 1st. Yeah, a lot of households, they only get one showing up, but you have the, the Billings Elves 4. You always use that hashtag as, well, you're their social media manager. Of course, I'm their social media manager. Uh, and yes, the Billings Elves 4 and their individual names, uh, you got to name them. That is part of the uh, the rules mm -hmm. of the uh, that they want, that Santa <laughs> wants, that the elves want. So we've got Jeffafa, we've got Lucy, Emmett, and Molly. And so they've been showing up at your house wreaking havoc since the beginning of the month. What have they been up to? Organized chaos. That's oh. as simple as it can get. I mean, they show up, they make a mess, they disappear, and somehow the mess disappears as well. Uh, they, <laughs> it's a lot of fun, right? Uh, they, they show up and uh, they, the kids are anticipating what have the elves done. They go to sleep going, I wonder what the elves are going to do in the morning. Uh, so we've had a range of uh, l this morning, for example, don't give them sugar, don't give them dry erase markers uh, for, for any reason whatsoever, but our sink is full of Christmas tree drawings and, and little sayings. Uh, these guys uh, are really punny, uh, <laughs> so they love to tell jokes. And, and uh, again, social media manager, I have nothing to do with it, but their dad jokes are on uh, they're just perfect, absolutely perfect. <laughs> they uh, they do struggle a little bit with their uh, you know alphabet and writing the letters the correct way sometimes though. I only assume English is not their first language, so Elvish probably. Uh, Elvish, and I, I can't read Elvish, so they really simplify it for us. It's a little hard to read sometimes, <laughs> absolutely, but for the most part, we don't judge their grammar. That's good, good to hear. And uh, the kids you say really enjoy having the elves come by. How old are your kids by now? Kids, I got I got four of them. They are eight, ten, thirteen, and fifteen. And so just love and having the elves around the extra four kids you could call them <laughs> mostly uh the the younger ones absolutely they're loving this the older ones yeah i think secretly there's still a little bit of joy in it it's they might be think mm, too cool but inside they love it i think inside they still love it yeah. <laughs> awesome um when it comes to christmas decorations you said you have a number of trees in your house as well 100 percent. we are all about christmas in the house letting uh some will say christmas just kind of throw up on the house absolutely <laughs> we've we've got uh We've got three trees in our house right now. One is the uh, the missus's tree. We don't touch it. It's her pride and joy, and she does a great job year over year on it. We've got the kids' tree. Go nuts, kids. This is your tree. You can do whatever you want with it. And we've got a little tiny one, which is our travel tree. Uh, we really enjoy uh, when we do get out and travel. We don't travel much, but when we do get out and travel, we like to collect little Christmas ornaments. And you'd be surprised, Nicole, how many Christmas ornaments you can find no matter what time of the year it is. I guess they know people like them. They love them. They absolutely love them. <laughs> and then when we do get to Christmas, which is crazy enough, 11 days away, what does uh, you know, the Christmas Eve into the 25th look like? Christmas Eve is always, uh, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day is always special with us. We, we don't have to uh, kind of figure out where we're going to be. My in-laws do the Christmas Eve thing. Just a special time uh, to get together with family. We do, it's a little, it's simple, which is amazing. Uh, the food is wonderful. <laughs> and, and thank you uh, to my in-laws for the the preparation they do for that uh, we get uh, we get the traditional turkey ham but it's done differently than than what I'm used to growing up okay uh, so that's that's our Christmas Eve again just with family friends there for that Christmas Day our kids wake us up way too early in the morning that's that's I, I think I'm not alone on that but uh, they, they wake us up way too early in the morning we do our own little thing with stockings. We have some gifts for them. We just kind of hang out just as a family. Oh, Christmas present. Uh, we do we do matching family 
pajamas. Love it. It's great. We all enjoy it uh, for that. So, uh, and then after that, we head uh, we head over to my parents' place and we we spend time there. We have again way too much food, but it's absolutely delicious. Board games, puzzles. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got to school my sister in uh, <laughs> some uh, cribbage. Always, always Christmas cribbage. Uh, she'll say she wins all the time. She probably does, but uh, I'll say that I'm pretty. I give her a good challenge most of the time. Have you taught the kids how to play that one? Actually, yes, we did this yeah. uh, last summer. Uh, last summer, they were interested in finding out how to play cribbage, and we had a blast teaching them. Love it. Sounds good. Well, uh, hopefully, you're enjoying your uh, holiday season so far, and hopefully, the elves don't wreak too much organized chaos in your house. 11 days to go. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Hey, I'm Nicole Clausen. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you have something you'd like to share with the Pemina Valley, we'd love to have you on the morning show. Send us an email at news at PeminaValleyOnline.com. And remember, like this video and share it with your friends.